gee, wouldn't it be interesting to try to understand aging, and in particular from a physicist's viewpoint, not just aging and why we die, but what sets the scale of life? That is, why is it that, uh, you know, even if you're very healthy, you're going to die um, of the order of 100 years um, and not a thousand years or a million years? Or, and why is it that you, um, we don't, uh, we only live, no, we don't only live for two to three years like a mouse? So where, where does all this come from? And that I started to think about you know, just as a, uh, I don't know, as a hobby to begin with. But very quickly, as I started to learn stuff, I became more and more interested and more and more excited about it. And to cut a very long story short, very gradually, that led me to do some work in it, to become associated with the Santa Fe Institute, eventually moved to the Santa Fe Institute, work with biologists and develop a whole framework that was in answer to that question, but actually spread to everything from, you know, uh, not just aging and mortality, but of course the more fundamental question, what's keeping us alive, metabolism, and all the other questions about life. And so uh, that's what I've spent the last 15 years or so doing. And as I mentioned at the opening, uh, what it has led me to also is the whole question about whether the, in the, this fantastic socioeconomic system that we've evolved, beginning particularly with the Industrial Revolution, entrepreneurship, capitalism, free markets, and so on, which has been so successful, has built into it its own inevitable collapse. And that's what I work on. It's one of the many things I work on now.